Hello, Holy Cross community. It's Father Erasmus once again here in the back room of the altar. And I'm here uh, next to me is a savano or a burial shroud. And I had the blessing of going to the Holy Land where they create these beautiful burial uh, shrouds, as you can see, Jerusalem. And we have a symbol here of Jesus Christ's tomb in Jerusalem. Of course, his crucifixion and all the way in the bottom it is Jesus Christ being laid in the tomb and this is customary for when we fall asleep uh, that is how we call when we do die we fall asleep uh, we at the last moment the priest puts a sabano or a burial cloth over you and as I've been doing for the last few weeks we talked about baptism we talked about wedding and also part of our lives is also the funerals and how sad it is especially when someone of a younger age uh, falls asleep and it is tragic because death is tragic as is defined. It is not God's plan for us to die. God's plan is to see from the very beginning of the Bible is for us to have eternal life. But as we should know, it's because of sin uh, that death came to this world. And therefore we have death and a reality of the death. Recently we celebrated Pascha and it is the reversal of that, but Jesus Christ's own death uh, he trampled down death, as we sing in the uh, hymn of Pascha, Christos Anesti, Thanato Thanaton Patisas, by his death, he has trampled down death. And therefore, um, today, just few thoughts about death and the reality that one day we too will die, we too will be buried, and we too will be laying in our coffin, and we too one day will have a burial cloth on us. And the big question, as we hear in every single funeral service, uh, if we're paying attention is when we do close our eyes, what account we will we give to God? The hymns of the church are very clear. It says that all things of this world are vain. Those do not exist after death. No wealth is kept, nor glory can follow. And how much of a life we really pursue glory and wealth and other things that are not important at all, at all. Positions, titles are not important at all. But more importantly is to be close to God and to help his people. Many times I'm asked to go to the hospital when a person is at the point of death. And um, I wonder why so late? Why do they call the priest at the last moment? Father, I'm afraid that if they see you, the person will be afraid that they're dying. Well, they're going to die regardless if I come or not. But at many times when the priest does come, they survive. But the reality is, is are we ready for death? And receiving Holy Communion right before you die does not automatically make us go to heaven. It is a whole life. And that is why so many times I stand here in front of the camera or in front of the podium and saying, please establish a beautiful relationship with God. It is important because in our story, each one of our story will be the closing of this chapter and we will leave this world. So therefore in my message today, which is a message of joy and hope and is a message of love, it is that are we considering this the day of our death? The church fathers say that we should think about death at least 10 times a day, 10 times a day. I would say at least once a day can we do that and realize that where is our efforts? What are we teaching our children? And are we preparing ourselves and our family for the day that we close our eyes? I pray that when we do die, is that it will not be a death, but sleeping. But if we're not close to God and we do not make it to, ke to heaven, then it is an eternal death. But if we're with God, then it is a life everlasting. And Jesus Christ says that I am the resurrection, I am the life. He is the one who not simply grants resurrection, but he one who is resurrection. So for those who are close to the church, for those who love God in this life, they will see the Lord in the next life. And a familiar and beautiful face, which is Christ, together with his Panagia, and the beautiful saints who are waiting for us. But if we do not live our lives correctly, as the church fathers say, the demons will be there waiting for us. A very hard and scary thought and as we move forward in our lives as Holy Cross people make sure 
that we're all together in the next life in heaven, together with God. And when we do close our eyes, we see our loved ones there, the ones who fought the good fight. May God be with you always and be well. Estejume do dipa punasavno, to pio personalizome in a ena a simbolo, o ti maste christiani, o ti pethenume ke hume, a simbol to Christu, o tafustu, o stavros, ya pocathilo sis. Ke do minimamu na plo, o te kimetume, eti ori masta kimetume, ori masta pethanume, diladi, imaste etimi. O scoposi zoris masaftos, iarina. Η οποία λέγεται ζωή είναι απλώ να αγωνιστούμε να μπούμε στο παράδεισο. Όλα τα άλλα είναι πλοκέ και ψέματα του Σατανά. Προσπαθούμε να κάνουμε σπίτια, να, να αποκτήσουμε πράγματα. Όλα θα μείνουν πίσω. Όλα, όλα, όλα. Μαζί μα θα φέρουμε μόνο τι καλέ μα πράξει και τι κακέ μα. Έχουμε να έχουμε καλέ πράξει. Αλλά δεν είναι μόνο καλέ πράξει, αλλά να αγαπάμε τον Θεό, να έχουμε σχέση μαζί του, να κοινωνάμε, να κλησιαζόμαστε. Η Αγίου Αφή είναι ξεκάθλη αυτά. Ο πρώτος και μεγάλος α, κανόνας και εντολή του Θεού είναι να αγαπάμε τον Θεό με όλη τη δύναμή μας και την ισχύ μας και με το νου μας και την ψυχή μας και δεύτερον το πλησίον μας. Λοιπόν δεν είναι μόνο να είμαστε καλοί άνθρωποι αλλά καλοί χρυσιανοί οι οποίοι αγαπάμε τον Θεό. Σας έχουμε καλή εβδομάδα όλοι μαζί και σε αυτή τη ζωή κοντά στον Χριστό αλλά και στην επόμενη. Αμήν.